Welcome to Living with Passion, Purpose, and Power. I'm John McKennan, joined by John Michael Grogan and Ron Jasmine. Now, here's John Michael Grogan to share a tool of the devil. From time to time, we all can feel overwhelmed by life. I saw this not too long ago and thought it interesting. It seems the devil was thinking about going out of business and would sell all his equipment to those who were willing to pay the price. On the big day of the sale, all his tools were attractively displayed. There was envy, jealousy, hatred, malice, deceit, prejudice, pride, gossip, idolatry, and other implements on evil display. Each of the tools was marked with its own price tag. Over in the corner, by itself, was a rather harmless-looking wedge-shaped tool, very much worn, but still it bore a higher price tag than any of the others. Someone asked the devil what it was, and he answered, saying, that is discouragement. Someone else asked, why is it priced so high when it is plain to see that it is worn much more so than any of these others? Because, replied the devil, it is more useful to me than all these others. I can pry open and get into a person's heart and head with that when I cannot get near them with any other tool. Once I get inside, I can use it in whatever way suits me best. It is worn well because I use it on everyone I can, and few people ever suspect it belongs to me. <laughs> this tool was priced so high that no one could afford to buy it, and to this day, it has never been sold. It still belongs to the devil, and he still uses it effectively on everyone he can. English poet P.J. Bailey said, discouragement is a coal comes hissing out of hell. That's so true. I mean, that's amazing what you're saying here, John Michael, about discouragement. Um, and as I just think about that word, it's how you look at, you're, you're looking at yourself the wrong way and the enemy satan whose job it is to steal kill and destroy it, he's also the accuser of the brethren and we have to know we are who god says we are and not who the world not who the devil anybody else we are who god says we are and we are fearfully and wonderfully made and I'll stop right there. <laughs> you know, this is just really incredible. I mean, when you think about discouragement, I mean, obviously it's a tool of the devil. It's God has given us a reason to live and a reason to go forward. And, and he's given us amazing gifts. Ephesians 1, 3 says we get all the spiritual blessings. Yes. If we were actually to receive them and be reminded of them, could we be discouraged? Could we be taken off point? Could we be distracted? I, I don't know. When you think about how sometimes we get programmed or, or trained to do things, there's repetition. So I'm not sure of any ad campaign that ever came up with the idea that we have a product so great, so wonderful, that all I have to do is just say this one time and everybody's going to go buy it. Instead, the ad campaign is relentless. It's constant. It's beating on us every day. I'm not saying that's good or bad, but when we are beaten on, every day is it someone that we want beating on us is it the holy spirit 
who's relentless and saying, hey, there's more scripture for you. Hey, did you read this? Hey, you read this last year, but read it again today. You may get a new insight, a new idea, new clarity, an additional dimension. Did you reread the scripture that you know? Will rereading that scripture help you to avoid discouragement and instead be encouraged, emboldened, and more knowledgeable in the spirit that you're able to go forward more boldly? What would you say to that, Ron? <laughs> what would I say to that? Only thing I could say to the people is we have no reason to be discouraged when we know who we are in Christ. Like you said, he has blessed us with all spiritual blessings in heavenly places in Christ Jesus. We are engrafted in, we are heirs and joint heirs. Our father owns the cattle on a thousand hills, the earth of the Lord and the fullness thereof, the world and they that dwell therein. He knows the things we have need of even before we ask. He said, asking it shall be given and seeking ye shall find and not and the door shall be opened. John. And the Lord does know what we need. And the Lord does repeat it over and over. I've not counted this myself, but there are people way smarter than I am, which that's not easy to accomplish. I mean, that's an easy thing to be. But there are some who suggest that the word fear, fear not, that idea is in the Bible over 300 times, maybe as many as 365 times. So every day we have the Holy Spirit, God, Jesus, coming to us saying, hey, don't be discouraged, fear not. So I think maybe... God understands the value of repetition because he created us and he created us perfectly and wonderfully in his image. So as we understand the opportunity of what Satan does, he has many tools, many tools that the devil has at his disposal. We have a better, stronger, more effective tool and that is the inspired word of God in the Bible. Amen. This is John McKinnon. Thank you for listening to Living with Passion, Purpose, and Power. We'll see you next time.